Hello and welcome back to another episode of the old man playing a video game. Um, if you stumbled upon this, I am sorry. I'm kind of doing this for uh, to entertain my grandkids and my great grandkids. Hello, Elijah, Liam, Jacob, and Paisley. With that said, um, <laughs> you can stick around for the ride if you want to, guys. Um, I'm at year three, day 40. A battleship just came into view from the Turan defense fleet. Um, so I figured we'll do that and see if I'm able, because I've got almost 600,000 galactic coins, um, see if I got enough, if I sell a bunch of junk, that I can buy the planet and finish this. Um, currently uploading a video my last playthrough I said there that we was in for a little storm uh, yeah it was it was pretty good some places got hit pretty bad I we lost power in in my little town here for about an hour or so um, but outside that's about it so I'll, I'll upload this as soon as the other one is done so let's get this trade going and see what it is. Well, what did they say first off? Um, here we go. They're well stocked with weapons and armor, always looking to buy relaxation goods and emergency rations for the crew, as well as repair materials, medicines, and fuel. Awesome. Um, I was thinking that I would be able to enter the crystal fields. I've got a chunk of them, and I was thinking maybe somebody might want to buy them or something. So I planted a bunch of fields here in lieu of doing this. The one thing that I like about what's going on is it eventually turns the soil to sand. And then you've got a, um, now this is cure plant that I planted in here. This was ener the energy crystals. Cure plant grows in sand. And then you got this stuff over here that actually gradually turn transforms sand, clay, and silt into loom. So now they've entered crop rotations and stuff. So, which is kind of cool. Uh, so the mindset of the next one is going to be a whole heck of a lot different, I think, this time around. This kind of, like I said, was a learning experience how this thing's going. Man, did I screw some stuff up. Um, so we'll, we'll go from there. So let's see what, because we can get rid of some of this. And uh, let's see how much. Because if we're just going to buy the planet I hate to get rid of all these but what else do they want bandages I hate to get rid of any of those but I'll get rid of eight of them whoops eight I said eight let's get rid of some ale goods carbon nanotubes I wonder if we got how much is this gonna get me that's all they want but it does give me a million. So let's get rid of some of this. That's all I wanted that, too. So that gives me a million. So we can effectively buy that. Well, it gives me 133,000. But that's more than what I started with, I believe. So let's see what happens mm. 
didn't have to load that puppy up yet, so. So let's get you to ah, she's loading it. All right, fine. Yeah, I do. I don't know. Um, you know, there are four different trading people that come through. I did have the smugglers, and I did have the colony ship. Now the battleship. I don't remember if I had the fourth one come through. Let's pause this for a second and look at this. So tell me about the trading ships. All right, so the Outer Colonies Federation. They're mostly by processed goods. They are approved by law to trade in arms, selling high-end goods, and buying raw sources for the staggering old economies. Don't remember if the Galactic Trade League came through or not offhand. Of course, the Smugglers Guild, and now the Terrain Defense. So, like I said, I don't know don't know if I'm capable of selling that stuff or not. I never noticed it uh, the other times. I didn't have any where I thought I would be able to sell some. I got 740 now. I know I don't think I was able to buy any from anybody. I'd have to look at my... Well, I don't know if I recorded each of the, each of the times they were here. Let's. They're rich. Hey, da, 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 da. So that's. They're all saying I'm rich. Once I reached 500. Half a million. They were. They were saying I was rich. So that's kind of cool. So these are the two people I've hired. And I've. I've kept rehiring them. Um, as you can see, Nova has got 16 days left, and Mikai has 12, so. Oh, he's got some gas. 93, that's not bad. I don't think I've got it to set to, yeah, it's not set to refuel. Sorry guys, I have um, sinuses going on today. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the uh, the video here. It started with the last update, where the thing just flashes real bright and then goes real dark. So I don't know, and a few people have on Discord has been talking about how it's doing that. Um, I would imagine there's going to be at least one more update before they uh, release the game. The game comes out, uh, suppose, on April 25th is the first release. Um, it's coming out for PlayStation, Xbox, and of course PC. 
Um, so, yeah, I'm, uh, and there, I know there's going to be some changes to stuff as it is because there are supposed to be more decorations and other building options to do, so. So, yeah, I, I know there's going to be an update then. They've changed the perimeters of the game um, and what's out there and stuff like that, so. I will most definitely be checking out other maps. Uh, whether I do the complete scenario again or if I uh, uh, add the Beyond Stranded mod and go from there, I, I don't know. I, I like the scenario where you're buying the planet, you're homesteading. I like that aspect. And that's why I like the mod Beyond Stranded, you know? Everybody sleeping. There have been a, a few gameplay issues. Nothing really to speak about. Um, and there again, I've had some knee-jerk moments. Is it my management sk skills that were, you know, lacking in that aspect or not? I don't know, but it definitely is uh, a learning experience in with this scenario and stuff like that. Things have changed. Um, for the better or for the worse, which I think, in a roundabout way is better it just it's a different scenario so you have to have to change things up you know wonder if they take too long to load the pod if the pod leaves or the um, the trade ends you know what I mean oh you've got to go over and get all that oh that's not good because there's a bunch of carbon nanotubes over there. I'll get Vincent to come over here and grab some of this too. I'm take that into consideration. Why he goes all the way over this away? I mean, she's more or less in a straight line. But he had to come all the way over this way and around these rocks and all this. Yeah, it's like, okay. All right. Yeah, everything's been going okay. Like I said, a little quirkiness here and there. But 
was it the game mechanics? Was it the game itself? Was it this this scenario, or is it my you know management learning skills that left much to be desired? You know. I don't know how much. That's four. It's not going to be much. I wonder how much more they've got to load here for the nanotubes. Hmm. Six hundred thirty. He's bringing hundred and eighties. Yeah, that might be enough between these two. Oh yeah, she's only bringing 30. Okay. So yeah, this gets into the question of if they take too long to load, um, what happens? Yeah, I'm I'm wondering after this what these three people will be saying. You know, because right now they're saying I'm rich and only because they got five hundred thousand in the in the thing. What what are they gonna say uh afterwards once they buy the planet and stuff like this, you know? Is she going to run all the way over there and get some more? I guess so. Why didn't she just bring 30 over? Yeah, I mean, she she's capable of carrying much more. <coughs> Excuse me. Nova, she is not happy, not happy at all. <coughs> oh, yeah, okay. You can just come over here and grab this stuff, okay?
Now he's following Nova. I wonder if they can't follow the same pathway or something like that. I don't know. Does make you wonder. got like a couple sets of carbon armor anyway all my main guys are in it looks like I got a little bit left 220 of the 400 in here so Vincent, step it up a little bit there, buddy. Left, right, left, right. It's rock and roll, dude. Yeah, so just under four years. Three years and 42 days. Um... Could have done a little bit quicker if I really wanted to. If I new stuff, you know. I thought about it, maybe. I don't know. what it was waiting on. Alright, so let's slow this down just a little bit. Ah, oh, annoyed. Um majority pipe, interesting, I'm rich, blah blah blah. Not rich anymore, buddy. Okay. Just aren't okay. I don't know if you could come back here far enough and see. No, can't can't get it down enough to see it come in. Yeah, there it goes. Victory! Ta-da! It's over. Day one, first harvest of grain grass. Oh, well, this is interesting. Grown insects, we've killed 91 of them. Never achieved that again. <laughs> Vincent took time out for some target practice and got the bullseye. They never achieved that again. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. <laughs> 
discovered ruin that's made our days more bearable. We sweated through two heat, heat waves. <laughs> Three cold waves, yeah. Oh, poor Amara. He took time out for some target practice, got the bullseye, and never achieved that again. Anyway. I wonder if, um, if, you know, hitting a bullseye actually raises combat or something, you know? Now, Jack played darts and got 180. They did that a total of two times. Cool. There we go. So yeah, um, I would definitely do things probably a little bit differently. Um, but, ah, uh, it's been enjoyable. Let's start this all over again and uh, go from there. All right, I'm gonna quit this. Uh, quit this uh, video I'm gonna get it uploaded as soon as I can and I think I'm gonna check out some different map seeds and uh, see where I want to start over again so uh, there you have it hey you guys have a good one I'll talk to you guys later and uh, you know Caleb keep your head down buddy all right bye <laughs>